Happy study abroad day, everyone. I studied abroad in Madrid, Spain. I studied abroad in the Gold Coast in Australia. Heredia, Costa Rica. Sterling, Scotland. Otavalo, Ecuador. London in the UK. Londonderry or Derry, depending on who you ask. Northern Ireland, in Seoul, South Korea, Barcelona, Spain. And I studied abroad in London, England. My favorite memory while studying abroad was taking a weekend trip to visit the Isle of Skye in Northern Scotland. From hiking to visiting the River of Eternal Youth, the weekend was filled with so many new adventures. It is a memory I look back on often and wish I could relive daily. Going to the indigenous handicraft market that engulfed the city on Saturdays. It was so impressive to see the different sights and sounds hear the different languages and see the people. My favorite memory from my time abroad was actually the coursework. It was so meaningful to be able to leverage education for community building and learn about all of the ways that theater and the arts can be leveraged for conversations around peace and reconciliation. When I got to go to Gyeongbokgung Palace, which is one of the biggest palaces left in Seoul, um, it's centrally located in the city and it's really cool to see the modern cityscape against the palace background. One of my favorite memories from studying abroad was going to the Barcelona Beach Festival. We stayed up all night watching the artists perform along the Mediterranean Sea. It was amazing, incredible. Can't say enough good things about it. My friends and I all walked across the Thames on the Millennium Bridge and we saw St. Paul's in front of us and the whole city was lit up at night and it just felt like this very special moment of getting to be at the center of this really incredible, beautiful, diverse city. I think study abroad has left a lasting impact on me because when I came, when I came back from my time abroad, I wanted to work in higher ed and be in the, in the, in, in the work of promoting life-changing experiences. And uh, I'm excited that I'm able to do that now through CEA Kappa. Meeting so many new people and forming friendships with people from all over the world. The friendships that I made and the memories I have with them and how I have to continue those relationships um, will forever impact my life. I am a better communicator and it also impacted my entire career path. I am now working in the world of international education because of my study abroad experience. I consider Otavalo as my second hometown. It has a very special place in my heart and I try to get back there as frequently as I can. It allowed me to become more confident in myself, um, more comfortable with being independent because when I initially went to Spain, I didn't know anyone. I went by myself and it was really, I just remember it being a really daunting experience for me. So I learned to get comfortable with the uncomfortable and it's, it's helped me a lot in my life. So much of what I learned while I was abroad was incredibly transformational and it still has a huge impact on the ways in which I navigate the world, even still today. It also led me to want to work in this field and help other students have experiences abroad that were as meaningful as mine. It really changed the trajectory of my life, and I know it sounds cliche to say that, but it, it's true, and I would never trade that experience for the world. And if you have the ability to go abroad, I recommend that you do, because it will empower you in a way that you've never felt empowered before.